what's going on guys? Oh, can't move it. What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. I am Stevie the Military Biker and today I'm heading in to the Rocky Mountains before it gets snowy and cold uh, to hit the highest road in Canada. To the channel uh, today I am going to be hitting the, a road in uh, southern Alberta that crosses the Rocky Mountains called the Highwood Pass which is actually the highest road in Canada believe it or not um, and this thing is filled packed with amazing views it really is uh, you know it's going straight through the Rockies so obviously Gonna have some spectacular views. Uh, I don't know the elevation till I get to the top, but it is extremely high. Um, cattle good. Ugh, things. Um, but yeah, as you can see right in front of me, it is awesomely beautiful, stunning, absolutely stunning. You've seen some um, Rocky Mountain sheep uh, a minute ago, which is really awesome as well. It's cool to see them. Well, this is uh, this is what's known as Kananaskis country. For those of you that are from southern Alberta, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about and how beautiful this place is. And this is Highway 40, like it says there. And it is the Highwood Pass. Gorgeous day for a ride. There's bikes out. Absolutely everywhere. I think the temperatures dropped to around about 23 degrees or 20 degrees Celsius. And normally, uh, I believe, beginning of September, sort of mid towards end of September, they'll do these guys. Damn it, guys. Uh, this road actually shuts, shuts down. You can't get through because of uh, how bad the, the, the winter gets uh, here in southern Alberta. This road actually closes completely uh, for about six months of the year, actually. Because it's totally impossible. It really is, you know, totally impossible when the uh, when the sun when the, the sun when the snow's out. <laughs> Which is, you know, granted here in the southern Alberta in the Rocky Mountains, it is closed for quite some time. Um, so when it does open, bikers like me hit this road because it's got some spectacular views, as you will see as we turn this corner. Rocky Mountain Road Trip video, which I will leave a link to uh, right up there right now on your screen. You will know I did this road a couple of years back uh, in sort of beginning of September time, and the, the trees had already started to turn colours. Uh, the weather was snowing when I got to the top of this pass. It was actually snowing with the guys. Um, so yeah. It, the weather can change like that, you know, in the Rockies, and let's hope it doesn't happen today. It doesn't look like it's going to happen today, uh, but you can never be too sure with the Rockies, man. You really can't. But it's just next two kilometres. Many roads. It is stunning. It really is. So, like I said, this road, Highway 40, is extremely popular uh, with the biking community uh, over the summer uh, for that short window that it's actually open for. This highway gets quite busy. Now you do require a parks pass to get in. However, that's only if you're going to be stopping. So if you if you are going to be stopping anywhere along the route, um, it is obviously you know advised that you get a parks pass because uh, you know I think it's like 15 bucks of the day maybe or whatever it is um, for a Kananaskis parks pass. However, if you're just passing through like me, you don't need a pass. Uh, but as soon as you put your foot down. You're required to have a pass. Uh, just like Banff, for you guys that have travelled through Banff, you don't need a bank, uh, a, uh, a parks pass to travel through Banff. Um, if, as long as you're 
not stopping uh, but you do actually require a parks pass if you do stop so bone of contention for most people uh, around these parts about this this pass you never used to need a pass kind of ask us result for everybody um, but I think during the pandemic people decided to visit Kananaskis for uh, a hell of a lot more and they left a lot, you know, a sort of a visible trail of people who was left behind, shall we say um, so the, the Canadian government in there, or the Albertan provincial government of Park, Parks Canada in their ultimate wisdom decided to start charging people which, you know, you hadn't been charged for years and years and years and years and years and now all of a sudden you had to start paying to get in to this beautiful place that should be free in my opinion should be free to everybody to see why do you need to pay why you know it's almost like you're taking the land away from the people and making us pay but like I said as long as you don't stop you don't need a pass so we're not gonna stop today we're gonna keep going and see some awesome places some phenomenal views like that right in front of me and some awesome twisties so, some more bikers, like I said, it's rammed constantly. <laughs> and there's a visible difference in the temperature or a physical feel um, in the temperature. The temperature has dropped, you know, it's probably down less than 20 now. Um, it's a bit chilly actually. just gonna sit, sit in the middle of the road licking the salt off the floor NFG no fucks given <laughs> G 
shit, come on, man. Now go. Come on. There you go. Let's go. Come on. Chop, chop. What's happening? Huh? What's going on? What are you up to? Just licking the floor and that, yeah? Just licking the floor, mate. That's what's going on, right? Eh? Yeah, I know. You little baby ones. <laughs> what's going on? Mad looking, dirt licking floor things. the sheep man shit get done for not having a pass look at this just it opens up look at that look at that look at that stunning I will say guys if you are there we go shut as you can hear me if you are riding this road be careful uh, there is a lot of potholes Obviously this road just gets absolutely destroyed during the winter and they don't get much chance to recover it so uh, just be aware you've got to have your wits about you when you're on this road that's for sure because there is some huge holes that will probably crack your rim uh, no questions asked so just be careful when you're on the road and obviously there's a bit of gravel every now and again as well as you can see on the side there look which gets dragged into the middle of the road as well so just be extremely careful on this road and obviously you got your wildlife issue as well. As you've seen, there's a lot of wildlife. It's the Rocky Mountains, it's gonna be. Uh, but just be careful. Enjoy the ride, but be careful. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, just for the scenery alone, this road is just stunning it really is it's not the greatest of roads to ride on as in you know level and, and what have you like I said potholes and stuff but you cannot you cannot beat the views at all and you know you might be lucky we've seen some mountain goats you never know, you might be lucky enough to see a bear. Because this, right here, right now, is grizzly bear country. Brown bear country, black bear country. Bear country in general. I mean, look at that. Jesus. Absolutely amazing. Never ever gets old. No matter how many times I ride this road, this never gets old. Never. So this up here is normally where they shut the road off the barriers. Um, in the sort of the well, when winter arrives, um, it should actually tell you. So we can find out when the dates are. See what it says on here. What's it say? What's it say? What's it say? Uh, oh, there you go. It's on that one over there. So you won't be able to read it because it's so far away. But it says uh, gates close at 12:01 a.m. on December the first. All oh, right, Jesus. Uh, and the gates open again on 12:01 a.m. on June 15th. So, it, like I said, it's close to six months of the year. And there you go. It doesn't close till December. Jesus, which is, you know, considering what happens in sort of November, December time around here, it's uh, it's quite late to shut the road. But yeah, it's closed for six months of the year. But it is absolutely gorgeous. And here's some more mountain sheep over there. 
Hey there, look, checking out the junction. <laughs> Funny things, one, make me laugh. But here you go, look, this is a wildlife corridor. Moose, elk, deer, big on sheep, and grizzly bears, or any type of bear. Just look at that shit up there, man. Christ. The Highway 40, which we're on, takes us directly to the Trans Canada Highway, uh, just shy, <coughs> excuse me, of Canmore and Banff, the famous Banff. Like you know, get your knee down or all that type of stuff, but it is, it is spectacular, it really is, uh, as you've just seen. So, I hope you enjoyed that. I am about to hit uh, the Trans Canada Highway now, so all the mountains are behind us, uh, and you know, we're moving into the sort of foothills of the Rockies. Um, but yeah, man, that was a nice ride, a gorgeous day for it. I did feel the temperature drop. drop. Uh, at the top of the pass there, and it was chilly. Um, 
but you know I'm lucky today because it wasn't snowing or raining or anything like that so which is always a bonus when you pass through the Highwood Pass that's for sure um, but yeah that's that's it really that's the this road spectacular here in southern Alberta if you live in the uh, in the uh, southern Alberta region you ride a motorcycle and you have never heard of the Highwood Pass or never ridden the Highwood Pass uh, then now you know about it it is amazing one of the nicest roads to ride we're spoiled here in southern Alberta we really are um, there's hundreds and hundreds of, of amazing roads to ride on a, a motorcycle on so yeah I hope you enjoyed that um, if you did enjoy it please remember to hit the thumbs up um, and if you are new to the channel uh, then please think about subscribing anyway I am gonna go and hit the boring highway now can't wait oh joy now I've had my fun I'm gonna go sit in the boring highway uh, back home um, so I will see you guys on the next video stay safe wherever you are around the world and remember you'll never walk alone <laughs>